long time. He didn't show me from a long time. I don't understand why it took so long for me to know it's been my whole life. We say hallelujah to the most high. I won't let a day go by. Get my people on the phone line. Cause God been good man this whole time. Hallelujah to the most high. I won't let a day go by. Get my people on the phone line. Cause God been good man this whole time. It goes God love. Hello, E partners and guests. Welcome to the drive. Here at NWCC, we want to give you an encouraging and thought-provoking word on your way home. My name is Elder Maurice Ingram, and the title of my devotion this evening is Struggling Perfection. So let's get ready and dive in. It's coming from James chapter 1, beginning with the second verse and concluding with verse 4. No matter what version you have, let's dive right in. It reads as thus, Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. And let endurance have its perfect work, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So what we want to first focus on is says, count it all joy, consider it all joy. So considering it all joy while you're struggling sounds like an oxymoron, right? Well, think about it like this. You're asking for patience. How does your patience get developed? You have to go through trials. You know, going through trials is not fun, but it hurts. Working out, it hurts. Struggling, it hurts. But while you're struggling, while you're hurting, while you're in pain, you're getting developed. Guess what? You might go home sore from working out, but in God, you're going to get sore when you work out. But guess what? You like the results. You know, uh, the big thing about struggling is that you have to understand you're getting stronger. Because like we said, once again, the key is we're being developed. So the second point that we're looking at is knowing, knowing that the testing of your faith, you have to walk forward with confidence. You know, when you know something or when you're confident, you puff your chest out a little bit more. You kind of stride like you know what's going on. Can't nobody tell you nothing. So it says, knowing, being assured that the testing of your faith producing endurance. So when you know that, you walk forward not only with your chest out, but you know without a doubt that you're getting better. So. As you go along on this struggle, you're getting blessed while you're being pressed. You know, I mean, it, it, it really gets to the point where we have to make sure that we're willing to go in and do the work. You know, spiritual growth can be ugly, but guess what? As you're being developed, be assured that it's for our good. And so as we know that it's for our good, sometimes we think we know better than he does what's for our best. I mean, I got tired of it when my mother would say, it's only for your own good, it's only for your own good. I can hear her talking to me now. But now, every time when I talk to mine, I sit here and I say, it's for your own good. Just like Charlie Brown, you know, wonk, 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 wonk. The point here is, it's for our own good that we struggle. Because when we get stretched, that's when we find out what's in front of us or what we actually have in us. And so finally, as we get ready to conclude, the last part that we're looking at, it says, let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Now, here's the good part. You're talking about being perfect and complete with endurance having its perfect result. The result is, on the other side, not only are we stronger, but we're prepared for what God already knew was coming. You know, it's great that we have a God that sees the whole because we only see part. And I'm glad I only get to see part because to tell the truth, if I knew that I had to go through some of the stuff beforehand, I would turn the other way. I don't know about you. But in reality, I'm glad I only get to see the part. And guess what? The greatest part of it is as we go along the way, we're not alone. He's right there with us. And that's the blessing, that we got help. So think about this as you're going home. 
no matter what you're going through, no matter what struggle you got going on, even if it doesn't, situation don't change. When your mindset changes because you're getting stronger, realize that it's not only for our good, but it's for us to be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Remember this when you read this in the Bible. Perfection in the Bible talks about maturity. Not necessarily that we're without error. It talks about maturity. So think about being mature, like a piece of fruit. A piece of unripe fruit is good for nothing. But when it's ripe and you pluck it right off the vine, when you pluck it, it's so sweet. Think about how sweet you sit in a great spot once you've been developed in something. So, as we say it, it's for our own good. And believe me, as you go along on this journey, not only are you not alone, but realize he's right there with us and he'll never leave us or forsake us. So, let's go ahead and pray in closing. Father in heaven, we thank you for our time that we spent together tonight on the drive. We thank you for this ministry. We thank you moreover for this person who I'm talking to, taking just a moment of their time to just be able to hear what you had to say to them. And I pray that you'll be with them, help them be developed in all areas, like you said, that they may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Build their endurance, build their faith, and help them develop into what you will have them to be. In Jesus' name, amen. So thank you for listening. We pray you grew a little bit more this evening. And for more information about our ministry and our e-partnership, visit our website, nowword.org, N-O-W-W-O-R-D.org. And we'll see you again next week on The Drive. Blessings to you. E-partners, we're taking it back. That's right. Every Thursday through the month of July, we're giving you Throwback Thursday. You know, back when I had that really cool FUBU shirt and Taylor used to wear that, you know, really weird retainer that went around her head. Okay, it Lord. We'll be taking a look back at some of the messages PK taught that will still bless you today. That's every Thursday at 7 p.m. right here on the Now Word YouTube page. Y'all don't want to miss it.